I've always wanted to launch is toad bags, but I never did. I don't know why, but look at this. A tote bag and then this little pocket to put your phone in. Because tote bags, as much as they, I love them, but you have to reach so far to get your phone. So this is, slip it in, take it out, slip it in, take it out. Oh, wow. This is so funny. Looks so weird. I did a bit of makeup, literally just foundation and a lippy because I have a meeting now at, let me put on gloss. Yeah, so I have a meeting um, and I'm pre prepping for that. But then in the meantime, I also have to start packing. Brennan took out his stuff so long. I, we're driving today's Tuesday the 14th of may we're driving thursday after after work or and is, is working half a day um looks so bleak it's i guess it's because i just put on foundation but anyway um that's not important and then has taken out his stuff so long of course he has <laughs> um i yeah i've taken out a few things i've taken out a few things so yeah maybe i should start packing tonight already because for him it's much simpler he already knows what he's gonna wear he what he's taking with for me i still have to decide and all of that but i've been struggling to get things done like i literally need to finish three shirts for this week i needed to finish four shirts luckily the one shirt i can actually move to next week it's for a client um but she actually wants to extend the shirt a bit make it a bit longer so um i asked her to rather than come in on Monday, or she said she can come in on monday and then we yeah i see how much she wants it instead of me cutting it and then she wants it a little bit longer or, you know all of that so i need to finish free shirts in i don't know what's wrong but i just seem to not finish things like since last week I, my schedule has just been it's not i have a lot of stuff yeah and i should be able anyway um yeah i just can't seem to finish my daily tasks like there's always something that gets pushed over to the next day and i hate that but i should probably just make grace with it but yeah <laughs> It's hot. Good morning. Today is Wednesday. One more day and then we are off home. It's 
I I'm finishing one shirt today. Um, I think I have to be realistic and just make peace with the fact that I won't be able to finish um, three shirts. Um, yeah, because I have a few things in between that I also need to finish sliding. That I also need to do as well, so it's just impossible for me to unless I really like you know some cleaning a bit um, that means laundry I just did the dishes because there was a few things from last night um, put on clean bedding because I love coming home a fresh room so you know you're tired when you get back home from traveling and then it's that nice feeling of sleeping in your own bed so that means fresh sleep set fresh linen yeah Friday the 24th of May I went for my three month post surgery checkup yesterday and everything is good I am good here because y'all I was a bit concerned but everything is good so y'all life is good actually like this here just put my two like braids you know it looks like this can't wait to dye my again. Anyway, this weekend I was told that I speak with a like I have a tweet. What's it called? A Twitter in me mouth, and now I'm like so conscious of how I speak. I've always been conscious of how I speak because I've always been told I sound like a mouse or. So this weekend I heard like a tweet and now I can hear it like every time I speak I just hear like a t in a th like apparently I don't say s I apparently say th so now I'm so conscious of the way I speak even more conscious it's just like I remember this one time I've never I've always been proud of like my little mustache because my grandpa is so proud of it because his sisters all have it and none of his kids have it i don't think any of my cousins do and some of them are probably way hairier than me i'm not dead hairy so he loves it and i've always loved it and then this one time i put on a photo three people told me you look cute but the snore and i can't remember what else but i do remember it like one time it was like three people commented on that and ever that ever since then i was like conscious of it like every time i do makeup i would see it like i never saw it like never saw it like i know it was there but i didn't see it and ever since then i just felt like very conscious of it and then this one time i did try to shave it looked funny linen said never again and then another time i went for derma planning and on of course they shave off everything linen again said nope you look funny so f y'all 
my boyfriend doesn't have an issue with it so why do you because you don't feel it it's not like when we kiss that he can feel it so that's why he probably doesn't have an issue with it but i do look funny like i never got like how when people said like they look funny without a certain feature with me it's my mustache when when i shave it it kind of looks like anyways my lips are burned because of dryness from this weekend um yeah i look funny i can show it to you hi today is the third of june it's monday i don't know what time it is right now but actually tell myself you know what i know i slept a bit late um i usually wake up at like seven and then i am ready about eight o'clock and then i go about my day you know have breakfast so i start at working at about nine o'clock earliest what is going on so i still have to make these looks oh these are some of the items others are in my what do you call it sketchbook but i'm making this dressy it was supposed to be if you, i'll show it my sketchbook to you i think i've showed it before i'm not so sure but it was supposed to be a skirt and a book tube but i thought it was like yeah let me add a dress because initially i did have a dress um but i changed it up the reason for that being is the material of that dress has to be something lightweight so it's like nah that's not gonna work let's make something that you know because that is the whole idea it has to be a capsule wardrobe it has to be items that could be worn in all of the seasons with anything up and down whatever so this 3c i mean for winter you can definitely you know put a coat over it you can style it with a white button down stockings a nice boot heel a coat of sweater or whatnot and it would still work but the other days it was like a vest type of dress and because of the style it has to be in a very lightweight fabric which obviously only works for summer so yeah so that's some of the changes as well as these pants were straight legs i decided to make them more wide legs just because as the design as the muse i do appreciate a wide leg pant but the the pants the signature when it comes to pants of the brand is your straight legs so it's like you know what since it's you know me as the muse let me make the pants a bit more wider and i have to stop but i still have to make as well as a sleeveless version boot tube version of this top that i have to make as well as a vest and another pair of banana pants so what i still have i made this i love it i actually wore it on saturday um very comfortable very flowy i did make them a bit too long but i'm the thing is i'm too short so obviously it will be a bit too long so i think on um people that's at least 1.6 it will fit gorgeously but anyway gorgeously i don't know if that's a word but anyway so this item still needs to be made so one two three four with the vest five with the banana pants it's also very flowy fabric Ugh, it's amazing i'll definitely show it to you somewhere in the vlog that is a metric gown so that is out because this client has paid already i've already um, gotten her fabrics i've already got her fabrics so that's the reason why it's out um yeah so still waiting on a few orders to be con custom orders to be confirmed for the metric season i am however i think you guys already know this i usually just take on three to four clients per year metric clients this is just to avoid i think you guys have to see me as well <laughs> this is just to avoid um not not that i'm not i think i've i think i've spoke about this before of how i don't take on too many custom orders just because 
I still want to make time for the brand itself, building the brand, as well as my personal projects. Because in the past, I merely focused on custom orders because that is what brought in the money. But I slowly moved away from that. And yes, I've struggled and yes, I can make more money if I do um, make, take on more custom orders. But like I said, I am building a brand and doing custom orders is not really going to do it. Um, yeah, so I don't want to get into this too much, but I just wanted to talk about that for a little bit. And then we'll get into cleaning up this mess. Ugh, that looks so cool. Let me take a picture. Rest. So that's kind of in my system as well. And so I'm always challenging myself to see like, okay. So I'm currently prepping. I don't know. How does my hair get so diabaka by this time of the morning already? Like, tell me how oh, that's like a little thread. Anyway, I'm busy prepping. By prepping, I usually mean like I've cut the custom order. Now I just need to fuse the pieces and then cut those fuse, cut the fused pieces out. Um, I think I've shared this tip already, but what I do is I don't cut out my fusing and then attach it. Maybe let me just show you what I mean. So usually you would obviously cut the pieces that needs to be fused. You cut, cut out the little section that, that of the fusing as well. So I don't do that. I just lay mine onto the table, put the fusing over, fuse it, press it, and then I cut them out. Just because sometimes you do cut out the fusing and then with all the steam and stuff, it shrinks a bit. So yeah, so that's essentially why I do it that way. Um, yeah, but I probably say this a lot, but fusing takes so much time, like so much, so much time. Like it's insane. Anyway, guys, my skin. It's so bad right now like my these are just that's fine it's like beauty marks and then i obviously have a few sunspots around my nose area but my when i moved to wallfish bay i started getting um pigmentation like i remember the first one i know, first first mark i noticed was exactly here and it had this um paper plane type of look like it it looked like a little paper plane it was like this it got a bit bit bigger and whatnot and then i had some here but now december i think this start like it started here and then in the beginning of the year, it started spread, spreading. I'll just, I don't know. If, yeah, but I'll use that term for now. It started spreading upwards around my eye or brow area. As you can see, it's, it's so bad. And I hate it so much because I feel like it makes me look dirty. Just, I'm literally just on the couch now trying to relax because I had a content day in the morning came straight home lunch just ate and then 
I finish the shirt um, finish the shirt the last order that I have um, yeah then maybe later tonight or tomorrow morning I'm gonna um, what do you call it I need to do the button holes as well as the buttons itself yeah I don't know what's wrong but I've been is I like that actually makes my face looks a bit oily or is my face oily I don't know I've been having I think I'm stressed to the max to the max to the max because I've been having usually when I stress a lot um, my jaw starts to hurt especially right here when it you know where it locks um, I haven't felt like this since when did I quit teaching 2021 but yeah but it was like after that that was the year I was like I'm done with this I'm not doing this anymore and I've been feeling like that lately. Yeah, guys, running a business is... Mm -mm. It's just... Difficult. Gonna put on, put on some music and just chill.